Um, is this a trail or a creek? I'm not sure. The trail goes that way. That's where I came from. I guess this is both the trail and a creek. So that's interesting. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's cold. I think it's probably just above freezing again, so it's not horrible, but uh, my hands hurt. And I'm definitely sniffling a ton this morning. So um, last night I stayed at Long Branch Shelter, I think. I slept in the loft, which wasn't bad at all. Um, there was only three of us, so we had plenty of space. There also weren't any mice that I'm aware of, so I think uh, we were in the clear there. Around 2 a.m., it did start like sleeting or something. All I know was ice was hitting the roof and it was pretty loud. But yeah, I slept okay, but not the best. Um, today, at least for now, I'm heading to Rock Gap. So we're gonna catch a shuttle into town and try to get some breakfast. So, and I'm also not sure, but Josh might be coming to pick me up today. Um, I might just go home for the night. I need to do a lot of video editing. And then also with the whole battery bank situation that happened at the hostel, I am like completely out of power. And I had to buy a new power like wall brick as well. And it's not a fast charger and it only charges one thing at a time. So I kind of don't think I'm gonna have time to charge my stuff in town today. I might still try. May have already said this too, but I also really need to get some videos uploaded. Um, don't know if I'll have enough time to do that in town either. So yeah, with the weather coming in tonight and being so close to home, um, may end up running home for the night, but if I do, I'll be back first thing in the morning. So right now Josh is working overnights. So he basically can drive me like anytime I need him to. Um, but I also need to like make sure he's getting enough sleep at the same time. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Um, if for some reason I am able to get everything sorted out in town and I don't need to go home, then I'll probably continue on to just whatever shelter is after um, winding stick up. Oh, so I also didn't mention this yesterday, but, um, my friend Forlo and I stopped at the campsite just to, like, sit and have a snack, and I, like, put my Gossamer Gear foam pad down on a log, and then, of course, I left without it, so no longer have that unless someone just happens to pick it up and, you know, I don't know. It's probably a goner. So that's not like a critical piece of gear, but the only bad thing about missing that is um, I use it to put under my air pad when I'm sleeping in shelters. And that's really just to protect my air mattress from popping. So last night I stayed in a shelter. Um, luckily the ground was like really smooth, so there were no problems, but that's not something that I want to do regularly. So the nice thing about going home is that I can pick up a footprint for my tent and then I don't know if I've mentioned this either, but another mistake I've made so far on this trip is I have two pairs of insulated enlightened equipment pants and they look the exact same, but one of them is a small and one of them is a medium. So I bought the small originally thinking that they would fit and of course they don't. I ordered a medium as well with the intention of selling the small pair. Well, when I was packing for this trip, of course, I grabbed the small instead of the medium. So since the beginning, I've been carrying around insulated pants that don't fit me. It's not really been cold enough to need them. Like I've been okay without them, but it is gonna get cold really soon. So it'd be nice to get those switched out. So yeah, I guess I have multiple reasons why it could be good to run home tonight. Get stuff charged up, um, upload some videos, switch out some gear, and get back here in the morning. So, myself and some of the other hikers that I started with have a WhatsApp to communicate with each other. And apparently, last night at, um, Wester Bald Shelter, which is, 
uh, probably a couple days away from me now. They had a bear come into camp around 4.30 in the morning and luckily everything was okay. But with all this nice weather we've been having, the bears are starting to come out. I'll probably be at Western Ball Shelter in a couple days from now. So uh, I like bears, but not in camp in the middle of the night. I'm coming up on the new rock gap shelter that they just rebuilt in like half a mile. As long as there aren't like people sleeping in there, which there could be because it's still pretty early. I'll show you guys around, give you a tour of the new shelter. There's the new shelter. And then there's the privy. It looks pretty nice. I do see one tent down there, so um, we'll see about the tour. Back on the trail. The parking lot is just like right down here. Like he's from Mississippi, and he's like. Came with everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> people's feet just straight up fatigue exponentially faster in that shoot than anything else. All right, y'all. So I just got home from the trail. Um, I took a shower and the goal for the rest of the night is just going to be to edit videos and get everything charged up so I can get back out there in the morning. I did stop by Outdoor 76 today and I got some new shoes, um, but I think I'm going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. So anyways, gonna end this video here and I'll see y'all in the morning.